Hi friends, I am Alok. Welcome to my channel. Before going to start our new session, please subscribe my channel, like and share my videos if you like and if uh, it helps you in your daily work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's start our uh, new session. Our new session is Vendor Master. How to create Vendor Master, what are the settings and what are the prerequisites uh, for creating Vendor Master, uh, we can discuss today. For a Vendor Master, we have to create account group. If you want to create a vendor master or master record for a business partner, you must have entered an account group. What is the account group and what it determines? Account group is used or account group determines for ensuring which screen and which field which pin or which fill are necessary to enter in master data whether you can or must make an entry in these fields that means when you creating a master record or vendor master which screen and which field are necessary which are only display screen which is you have to optional to, to enter data or which field is mandatory to enter in data you can manage in vendor account group so let's start uh, how to create a vendor account group for vendor master yes. For a, a creating vendor master group, you can uh, vendor account group. You can uh, directly put the transaction code for MSG. Okay. Otherwise, you can go through the path, SPRO path. Go to SPRO. Logistic General then business partner then vendors then control here you can see account groups in vendor and field selection you can see the transaction code also see the transaction code see OMAG you can directly put OMAC or you can go through transaction code uh, go through path so, okay let's start account group these are some account groups available this is the account group number and this is the description these are the description and these are the numbers if you want to see if you want to create your own, you can directly create by new entries or otherwise you can create by copying the existing one. Okay, like this. We can create by our own. Okay. New entry. Here I put the name account group who is dead b zero one always put z when you are customizing something or creating something put the name name I put here new vendor for regular
regular one here. Okay. So you can put like this. Any anything you can choose as you want. Okay. Then number range. Number range is blank. You can put here the number range. This is another settings. Is there uh, how to put number range? Allow internet number range to under account to we can discuss later. Here you have to put it blank, it's not editable. And next is one time account. If you want to make this account group one time, you can click here. Okay, what is one time account? your organization there is some transactions happening and uh, there is some business partners available for one time transactions only so that uh, you can create that vendor that business partner with this account group if you make this one time account group then when you are creating that Vendor for one time only, then you can put this account group for that vendor only. So, if you have requirement for one time vendor, then you can create one time account group, otherwise, not click this one. Next part is our field status. Here, we discussed earlier that. Why you use vendor account group? Vendor account group is used for master record to ensure that which field or screen is uh, necessary for entering master data. In in this field selection, you can specify which field or switch screen is optional or mandatory or to enter data okay for this you can see here general data in general data these are the fields address communication control payment transactions contact person okay let's click this one yes in address you have these things name from address search term name to name this so these are the uh, fields available when you are creating a business partner or a vendor these are the fields are available and all the fields are optional here optional entry if you want to require entry here I make this name required entry okay here this without putting this value we can cannot be processed further you have to put the value in the vendor master record and after that you can go to the next screen or next values okay if you want to for example I want to make this display For this field, you will unable to put anything. It will be a non-editable screen. It will give you a non-editable screen. And in this uh, data field, you cannot be enter anything. Like this, you can maintain your uh, entries or render master data, master data for required optional and display. The press is also here if you want to do anything you can choose your phone okay. like this communication tele telephone telebox data line language anything you want to require display optional entry you can choose as here
like this you can go to company data purchasing data purchasing sub range purchasing plan you can put like this here company data and company data account management payment transaction correspondence you can you can put like this You can hide, you can display, cancel, suppress your data as per your requirement. Next, in these fields, uh, data retention label purchasing, if you want to. Uh, returns in the data for vendor sovereigns or for plant level relevant then you can click this one or this one if you want to both then you can click both for your data retention label at which level you want to retain your data if you want to both vendor sovereign level or plant level then you can both otherwise you can select as per your requirement Like this, we can create our own here partner determination. We can partner scheme or purchase organization. We can select your level partner level. There are four partners available L1, L2, L3, and L4. L1 is for vendor, L2 is for vendor sub-range, is your for plant, vendor plus manufacturer. We can put here. Level here L1 or L2 or L3. Now we can save the data. Our vendor account group ZP02 is now created. Regular vendor. Now our next step is how to assign this. How to assign number range to their vendor account group. See, there are two types of number ranges available. One is internal number range and another is external number range. Okay. You can put either internal or external. Both is not possible. So let's start the number range. Number range transaction is OMSJ. Transaction code. OMSJ. You can directly put OMSJ and enter. Transaction R. Otherwise, you can go to the path. Same path. Path is the same. First uh, general, then business partners, then vendor, control, and then control you can get and different number in this program master account that is OMSG okay. here uh, for number ranges see the intervals these are the internal number ranges 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the internal number ranges Okay, and this x x x x is external number range. Okay, you can create your own also if you want to create your own internal number range. Go to plus assign internal, then you can choose your own. Choose from this one what you want to. If you want to this one, then this one, two, two, double zero, six, 
Alexander. If you want to assign this interval to a new count group, then we can assign here. We can assign this one. Zero is the internal number in store in the account group. These for intervals, you can see the intervals by clicking this interval. And for assigning number range to our account group, go to number range. See, these are the account groups available, and these groups have the external number range assigned, and these are the internal number assigned. Okay. For our vendor group, new account vendor can assign the new number range here also 08 if you want to put the uh, internal number range if you want to assign this account group internal number range then you can put 08 or if you want to put your own number range means your external number range then you can put xx How to, how to assign number ranges and create vendor account group for vendor master record let's see in master record for vendor master record the transaction is 801 I have put vendor master record is external number range so I have to put external number here something you want to put okay. vendor okay. company code is ICC See, when I created this vendor account group, I have put that name is mandatory entry, required entry. Before using entry, you can go to the follow screen. Fill in all required entries, entry fields. This field is required entry. If you said that field is optional entry, then this will not ask you to fill this. It will go to the next field. Okay, yes. Here. Countries open. Now it is open. See, in my next screen, my control screen, I have never I, uh, have done uh, all the fields of optional entry. So, see, there is no required entry. The field is required, it will show you a tick mark. Field is required. See if I put the transaction, I put the vendor account group uh, with uh, I assign vendor account group with the external number. If I leave it blank and then process the account group ZV02 is a external number assignment. They should have an account number. If I 
फोटो नंबर रेंज इंटरनल चेक लाइ असाइन एज इंटरनल internal number range in internal when I save that one it will create its phone number see let's see the number that is comes in Number is two double zero five zero one. Two double zero five zero one. And the more number range, eight number range. Five zero one. So friends, this is the vendor master. You have to create like that vendor account group and assign the number is like this. If you like this video, please like and share this video. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you.